Hello and welcome everyone. So I'll be explaining you Port Forces Educational Run 101, Div 2, problem number B, red and blue. Uh, this was a very good problem. First, I thought that I would use some greedy approach to solve it, but I actually failed. So then I jumped into a DP solution which is a cool one uh, let's explain you so actually the problem statement says that we're given we're given a sequence of n plus m integers and uh, a monocarp is gonna paint the elements into two colors red and blue and n elements were painted red all other m elements will be painted blue and they will be divided into two areas called r and b and so um, we have to we, we are given actually these two arrays and we have to reorder the the array a but we have to maintain one thing uh, the order of array r and b has to be same have to have uh, won't be different it can't be different you are not allowed to change their order their initial order the red colors uh, arrays order and the blue color arrays order so finally we have to well if you look if you analyze it you will understand that in in case there there will be there will definitely be multiple ways to restore it I'll show you how there are multiple ways to restore it he wants to choose a way to restore that maximizes the value then ultimately the final result would be that you have to find this uh, which is basically maximum of all the prefix sums that's that's basically it this this res, uh, this results that you have to find out the maximum of all the prefix sums of the resulting final array a so we're given t equal to thousand and n equal to hundred and uh, we're given r and uh, the array and so we'll be given n m and those two arrows we're going to be taking it as an input and here is the uh, uh, here's the uh, input console and the output console so I'll be explaining you let's say this this one um, first I will, I will explain you how there are multiple ways to restore it okay let's say we have an array a uh, I'm sorry uh, let's say we're uh, we're given an array and okay so R an array R okay I'm given R1, R2, R3, R4, blah, blah, blah. And uh, an array B as B1, B2, B3, B4, okay, blah, 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 blah. So the final array that we're going to be making you can choose uh, something like this first let's say first we'll which we choose r1 okay then we might then we uh, then we might choose b1 okay r1 and then b1 but then again we can't choose directly r3 because r2 won't uh, because that won't be in the order uh, so uh, as as you can see that the statement clearly say that they have to uh, follow the uh, their their own sequence in that array. So uh, R1 B1. Let's say we we take then we could take B2. Okay. Let's say we could take B2. Then we could take B3 and B4. Uh, okay. It might happen that we might take R2, not R3. R2. Then we might take B4. Then we might take R3. Okay. So as you can see. Um, I have built a random array A, but maintaining the order of the uh, maintaining their the real order of the um, uh, of the red array and the blue array itself. Okay, their 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 own orders are actually the same as before. As you can see, R1 and then R2 and then R3. Okay, blah blah blah, and B1, B2, B3, B4. No one of them. Are not different uh, on their order, okay? 
but we have built this area but uh, the, uh, actually we can we can make this area in several different ways there, there will be multiple ways we can make this area but we have to make the area as if we have to uh, the the f of a should be the final so so we have to array we have to make this area as if the value of f f of a would be very uh, the maximum possible okay so how how could we do that first i actually thought that okay i might do the merge operation as we do in merge sort um i might take a merge operation and do the possibilities and uh, just uh, just taking the initial maximum values but that won't that won't work this greedy approach won't work okay taking the maximum of the first two and then blah 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 going forward that won't work uh, because you will fail fail in this test in this test case okay uh, like six minus five seven minus three and two three minus four I'll explain you why you will fail let's see uh, Let's just explain you. Okay, six minus five, seven minus three. Let's say six minus five, seven minus three, and uh, okay, that's the code part. Sorry, and uh, uh, two, three minus four, two, three minus four. So as you can see, if I go following the merge operation process. Uh, initially taking the maximum of the first two values and then going on and on it won't work let me show you how first we would if if I follow that greedy method that, that would work uh, that would go on okay first we will get six okay okay then the pointer goes here I pointer goes here the J pointer is here and then the maximum is two okay two and then uh, the J comes here, and then the maximum is three. Okay, taking three. J comes here, and then maximum of these two would result minus four. Okay, now this array ends. If this array ends, then the rest of them will should be able to, as it uh, should be able to. Uh, we should be able to uh, add as it was. Okay, so the rest of the array would be minus five, seven, minus three. So if you uh, actually uh, take the maximum of all the prefix sums it won't result 13 okay it won't you can you can check it out it won't result 13 it might result like 6 7 8 9 10 11 it could it could result 11 okay highest maybe 11 but how will you find 13 here uh, it, this is possible if you take like this let me tell you 6 first and then 2 and then 3 okay and then minus 5 uh, so uh, it happens to be 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 minus 5 6 6 plus 7 equal to 13 and then minus 3 you could take minus 3 and then minus 4 so this could be one possible ways an active uh, the optimal array okay like this as I told you 6 2 3 minus 5 and then 7 and then minus 3 and then minus 4 this could be one optimal order so as you can see, um, uh, I, I could not find any way to make it greedily so I jumped to the DP let me show you how I did DP I'll show you the approach here then I'll jump into the code quickly so the approach was okay um, the main trick is actually in the the uh, base case uh, the initial part is pretty much easy uh, uh, let me tell you okay first uh, we'll take one of the values okay we may choose either six or either two okay and then we just keep moving on and adding the values okay um, so uh, we, either we could take six and move on okay the, uh, from the red array or from the blue array so we have two choices each time we have two choices either from the red or from the blue but we have to maintain I've already told you we have to maintain their initial order so uh, let me let me show you the code part okay so 
you will understand more. Okay, so here the array A is actually referring to red array and the array B is referring to the blue array, okay? Now we'll, we're going to be finding out the solution by going for the solve function 0, 0, and M. This 0 is indicating from red array and this 0 is indicating the index of the blue array and then uh, let, let me jump uh, okay I'll show you the uh, the base cases later for okay now here is the first explanation okay what is that look if both of the uh, red and blue arrows indexes are between the range which means none of them has been ended then we have always two choices right because both of them are available if both of them are available we have always two choices either I can take the red value red arrows value okay and I'm gonna add it to the sum and I'm gonna move forward or I have other choice which which is actually the array B J okay so I have other choices which is uh, the you could say the blue one so I can either take the red one or either take the blue one and move forward when when I have uh, only when I when I have two arrays available but if it, one of them is out of range then I I have uh, no other way to go for the available one so I have no other options to go for the available one let's let's take a look at this uh, what does it mean this means that okay red arrays is is not available so only I have left is J less than M which means the blue array so I'm gonna take the blue array one as it as it, as it goes okay moving forward similarly for the uh, third case and let me show you the base case here the base case is that if both of the arrays limit has crossed which means greater than or equal to N and also J is greater than or equal to M which is indicating what both of the array is ended so we don't have to work uh, worry about anything if both of them is ended so we'll, we'll just usually return zero that's it if one of them is also available we will do work what we have to maintain I already said we have to maintain the order right so we're gonna be just following and going to through the order that's how we're gonna be doing this I hope I made you understand and let me tell you what how will we find out how many states are there look I've already told you that uh, uh, let's say look here in the transition function okay only the two values are changing the index value of red array and the index value of the blue array so I as you know or this is a general thought actually uh, that uh, okay in the transition function these only these two values are changing okay uh, the values which are changing from transition are gonna be uh, named as uh, a DP state so we will have a 2d array and a 2d DP state uh, first state refers to the red array and the second state refers to the blue array index so that's how we're gonna be doing and this part is actually the memorization part you will you already know if you know DP well we are just doing here the memorizations and blocking the uh, let's say over overlapping sub problems so finally we're just make taking the maximum of them maximum of those two choices and we are um, moving it uh, and placing it to the DP value and finally returning DP 0 0 okay so that's how you can uh, solve it uh, actually uh, uh, so that's how you, you, you'll solve it. I hope I made you understand this problem. It's a very cool one, but I actually did not find any greedy solution. It might there might have there might have uh, some DP, uh, greedy solution, but I had to go for DP. There, there was no other choice for me. Okay, so till next time, goodbye.